Welcome back, Tater Tuts, to the channel for another new episode of our Solar System Legacy Challenge. This is episode eight. So let's see, Eli is a bit occupied right now. Should he still go to work? Um, I think he is going to take PTO today because we just found out in the last episode, if you guys didn't watch it, that his girlfriend Mariah is pregnant from their Summerfest woohoo in the tents that they did. So uh, yeah, and oh girl, why are you rubbing your stomach? You, she must be hungry because she definitely can't be pregnant. I don't think she can be. But anyways, so he's taking the day off to spend time with Mariah because I think she's feeling a bit uncertain certain about everything and she is feeling quite flirty obviously right when we came in they were like making out in the kitchen but he is in here talking to Evan letting him know he's like hey man Mariah's pregnant like what am I supposed to do like I can't be a dad yet and he's like well ma'am that's kind of the card you've been given so uh you gotta make it work you know you could have used protection or something he's like well you know I, I thought she was on birth control but you know it's fine I'm gonna be fine he's like yeah you, you got this I mean come on if dad can raise kids you can definitely do it I'm sure you do a better job than dad so I mean Evan has full confidence in Eli but Eli has also asked Evan for permission to allow Mariah to stay at their place with them because he's worried about her health and wants to make sure that the pregnancy goes smoothly, which Evan, he's fine with for right now. And so, okay guys, let's take a look at our calendar here. So today is Saturday, so I figure that we are going to have Evan's wedding probably next weekend or maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we should just go ahead and do it tomorrow because he wants to move out of the apartment to give Eli the space that he needs to be able to have a child. So he's thinking about just giving Eli this entire apartment and he's going to move in somewhere with, uh, you know, his boo thing over there what's her name Jamie and so he's coming in here to kind of discuss some of those options with him he's like hey man what if I give you this apartment and I move out and he's like well, well you know I'm so used to living with you and he's like you know it's time for you to be an adult you know some things are happening and you just got to make it work but you know if you need anything I'll still be there for you and won't move super far away and he's like well you know if you're sure about it then by all means let's do it so, okay guys, we are going to have a sh super short noticed wedding tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and hear to Evan's um, calendar, not phone, and we're going to plan an event. So we have officially scheduled Evan's wedding. It will be on Sunday and it is going to be at two o'clock in the afternoon at the Calico Wedding Chapel Wren. So, Ah, it is over in Newcrest. So yeah, guys, we are going to be getting ready for a wedding, which means that we have to get Evan looking his best, make sure he's got his wedding duds. And we need Jamie as well to pick out her outfit. And of course, make sure our other peeps are ready to go and dressed up well. And Eli, oh, look, she is feeling like, I swear, like since she got pregnant, she is feeling like even more uh, like emotionally involved with Eli because I feel like she's always kind of a little bit distant but you know I feel like she's connecting more to him now that she's carrying his child and girl you just scooting over into Evan's side of the bed for what what is she doing she's hiding from everyone why are you hiding from everyone my neighbor says that girl no you're not going to the romance festival I might need more time I think a little need a little more practice maybe things will go well so something she's got bad breath and she's worried i guess that eli could smell it but she is remembering her first woohoo which was something to remember so our boy eli definitely did something to impress this girl looks like evan has been in here trying to help her feel a little bit better about things he's like look you have no need to be embarrassed about anything like we're basically family now you're carrying my future niece or nephew I have spent time in cast with everyone, making sure that they are all wedding ready with their outfits and whatnot, mostly the wedding dress and of course, you know, Eve, Eve, wow, I can't speak Evan, not Eve, Evan, there were way too many E's, but uh, yeah making sure he looks good for his wedding. And then also in regards to the baby coming soon, the next generation I believe is Mars. I'll have to double check that. So that means I'll have to do names that start with an M. 
So let's see, how far along is she? I don't think she's super far. So she is eating for two, second trimester is beginning soon. So tomorrow at the wedding, she'll be in her second trimester. So that is exciting. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna take care of everyone and then I will be back for tomorrow. It is the morning of the wedding and Evan right now has not been doing too good. He has been having it a little bit rough because Mariah here has been hogging the bathroom all morning with puking and feeling sick. And then Eli was in there and this boy is getting married today. If anyone needs to be able to have the right to use the bathroom and shower, it's him. And look at Mariah cleaning up after him. How sweet. But look, of course she's going straight to the bathroom to do this. I don't know why she does that because there's a sink right here like i don't know why they can't get to that but okay use the bathroom boy okay poor thing he was holding that for so long so okay after that we'll get him ready and in the shower eli has been out here going for a jog in the rain it looks like jamie is taking a stroll getting some fresh air uh, so we're gonna hurry and get everyone ready and then i will meet you guys at the venue all right, so it is about to be time for the wedding, but my son unfortunately has just woken up on the baby monitor and is crying. So I have to go take care of him. And as soon as I do that, then I will meet you guys at the venue. We have arrived at the wedding venue. It looks like everyone is super excited to see dear grandma, Maria. And look at Evan with his suit here being all green. And then of course, Eli is the best man. So he has kind of a similar colored suit. And look at Mariah, she looks beautiful. This dress totally suits her and works perfect for having a baby bump. Like I wore dresses like this all the time when I was pregnant because they are so stretchy. And look at Eve being extra. Like this girl is straight, like basically wearing a prom dress. She just couldn't let it go, could she? And all oh, look at them hugging. There's little Jeanette and Daryl. Oh, there's Vance making his appearance for his son and Uncle Carlo. Yeah, Carlo. And then here is Jamie. That is not what I picked out for her. Let's change her. Here's our girl. There she is. So everyone can see her. And she's got her little blue flower back here in her hair. And... Oh, she just looks so beautiful and she's ready for her wedding so we are definitely going to go ahead and waste no time also yes everyone my son is okay now and it was so cute I went in there to you know calm him down and I picked him up and then he got out a good burp a big ol' uh in my face <laughs> But then he's he's starting to get to the age where he like wraps his little arms around my neck and like nuzzles his face in and oh my gosh it just kills me inside and I just had to squish him a little extra. <sighs> but he looks precious now and he's back asleep and all cozy and warm and <sighs> now I'm going to finish this episode and then I'm going to go get cozy and warm in bed myself. So okay anyways this is the venue everyone let me show it to you so yes here we are oh let me get the there we go the full the full-on roof but yes this is one that i downloaded off the gallery it is this calico wedding chapel wren and it is by volna via sims and so this one i think is gorgeous blot just really screamed new crest to me so that was another reason why i went with it all right so since everyone is pretty much here we're not gonna waste any time and omg look who our caterer is it's miss crumple bottom that's funny maybe she just wanted to come and slap people around more namely uh vance and eli looks like jamie has come in here to talk to miss crumple bottom and she's like, you better make my wedding cake just right. And look, of course, no one is over here. Miss Crumple Bottom, watch her not actually make a cake. That would be classic. But okay, well, we are going to go ahead and I think have Evan and... Oh, get married to your Sims fiance isn't around. Invite them here. What do you mean, not around? She's right there. Uh, oh, jeez, we're going to have so many problems with this, aren't we? And Vance, of course, he's in here seeing the bride, talking to her. He's like, you look great, Jamie. Wink, wink. And of course, we've got a musician out here who is this Kenji out here playing a tune and someone else being a bartender. Who's our bartender? Era ben Benergy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have him come and get married. So we're going to have everyone try to uh, gather for the wedding if they will but of course they're not it's gonna be empty isn't it looks like only Eli and uh, Evan 
and Mariah are gonna be there. Oh, nope, we do have more here. They all, they're coming to gather. All right, so I am so happy to see the little couple here and look at them. So let's check out who we have so far. We've got, aw, there is Eden. She looks beautiful. And then we've got Eli, Daryl, Vic, Vincent, Victor, and Mariah, I don't know why she's outside. She's like watching it through the windows. And then, okay, it looks like Eve is coming. Vance is watching through the wall and Carlo. So pretty much everyone except, oh, there's Maria. Maybe she's going to watch through the wall too. But anyways, we're going to watch from in here at the happy, beautiful couple. Aww. Look at it. I got to look from this angle because Evan, he's our boy. Here they go. Here they go. He's making his vows to her. She's like, okay, I get it, Evan. She's always kind of impatient. Like, but he's infatuated with her. So here he goes with the ring. He's like, please be mine forever, Jamie. She's like, ah, it's beautiful, of course. And there they go. Woohoo! They are married. Aw, congratulations, Evan and Jamie. And yes, guys, I do not have my wedding stories yet. I am going to get that one probably at the like Black Friday sale or whatever. So I will be getting that eventually. I've just been so scared to get it because of all the bugs, honestly. But I think maybe I'll just brave it. So, of course, Eli is the first person to come up here and talk to Evan. He's like, congratulations, bro. Like, I'm so happy for you. This is so awesome. What an awesome day. And, oh, did Miss Crumplebottom actually make a cake? A terrible cake. Wow. Way to be, Agnes. You did terrible. And then she comes over here to, like, cross-stitch at an organ. Ugh. I guess you just can't win them all. And I guess we're having girl talk out here, apparently. Look at Uncle Victor, though, like... He'd be looking good, but he's like, man, this cake's disgusting. You got Vance and Daddy. Daddy-o, Daddy Daryl. And then, of course, the brothers. Poor Eli. He's like sweating up a storm in this suit. So it looks like everyone is starting to gather outside to listen to this guitarist over here. But I figured we should come and get drinks with everyone. And oh my gosh, Jeanette, please don't tell me you're getting drinks. But look at this. We've got Uncle Carlo. And then we've got... Uncle Victor, and then we got Vance. Everyone's here. Oh, and there's Vince and Maria. Look at Jeanette over here doing her homework. But it looks like everyone is pretty much coming to get drinks. It doesn't seem like many of them want to have anything to do with that awful cake. But look, Miss Crumplebottom made another one, and it's also poor. But I guess we should add a wedding topper to it so that that way we can actually, like, you know, have something related to our wedding happen. Evan is adding the wedding cake topper onto the cake, and oh, <gasps> Miss Crumple Bottom, wait, she did a better one. Okay, this one's normal quality, so take this wedding topper off and let's put it on this cake because she finally made something decent. Okay, so now we will have Evan and I forgot her name, Jamie, cut the cake, and okay, this musician is terrible. Kenji, like, we should have just had our Uncle Victor play for us because it would have been so much better and here they go all with their cake so cute all right so and it looks like eve is having some alone time and look miss chrome bottoms over here stomping because she probably went and slapped vance it's probably what happened that's what i would believe but it looks like maria has been having a pretty good time with watching her grandson get married and then here comes Oh, Evan, way to be. He's probably totally wasted. But he came to burp in the pregnant lady's face. Now she's going to be sick probably. But Vincent is over here chatting with her about the pregnancy, talking probably about Brenly and her pregnancy. And, you know, because hers was the most recent of all of them. And, oh, dang, they just making out. Wait, wait, you two. Like, geez, there's children around here. And Vance is spending time with Eve, which is great. So it's good to see the family trying to actually do things together for once, because I feel like that does not always happen. That's for sure. Medea has come out here to start jamming out and dancing, of course, without any music. And boy, what are you getting so giddy? 
and excited about, oh, look, him and Maria both dancing. Uh, this family, I'm telling you, they are always dancing, like, especially at the club. Maria is always there. Oh, is Uncle Victor going to grace us with music? I think he is. Oh, so much nicer. So much more beautiful. Look at the family all sitting in there. So cute. Jamie is over here talking to this musician guy, probably going, you suck. People are starting to get super hungry, and it looks like Eve is just over here. Or Sorry, not Eve. Um, Eden. Gosh, it's so hard for me to remember these names now. <laughs> Eden has been over here. She was taking a nap on the couch. And, oh, Eve, you're a little late on the pickup of getting a cake. It is getting pretty late, though, so I think we're going to go ahead and <laughs> go back home. Because if you can't see, everyone is taking naps on the couches in the church. And I'm pretty sure you're probably not supposed to do that. And um, this pregnant girl, she's getting real hungry. And we don't want her to be too hangry, if you know what I mean. It's not a good idea. And she is in her second trimester, right? Yeah, her third trimester begins soon. So, all right. Well, that was the wedding. It wasn't like the craziest or best wedding by any means whatsoever. But, you know, it happened. And now we can get Evan to move on out with his boo and give Eli the apartment. We are back at the apartment and it looks like while Eli took time off, he actually has been promoted to a mixologist. So he'll make an additional nine simoleons per hour for a grand total of 35. And he also received the following bonus, 515 simoleons, umber kitchen sink. All right. Awesome. So that worked out pretty well. And it looks like a lot of them are going to bed and Mariah is in here cooking, honey, please don't catch this house on fire. Like, that's the last thing you need when you're pregnant. And it looks like, of course, the girls are the ones that are up late. They're probably going to have some girl chat and go to bed. And, you know, they're going to sleep with their booze. And then tomorrow, I'm probably going to get Evan moved out. He might just move into the apartment next door with Jamie for now. So we will have to see. But anyways, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me on this new episode of our solar system legacy challenge if you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes and please like this video and give a comment down below and let me know what you guys think and baby names for boys and girls that start with an m so thank you once again and i will catch you next time see ya honestly i'm open wide. i don't feel like waking up without you by my side